We're here at the AF Blakemore depot in Bedford to look at the first EHGV trucks on the road courtesy of the Electric Freightway project. The Electric Freightway project is part of four projects that are funded by Department for Transport and Innovate UK to celebrate and catalyse EHGV electrification and decarbonising the heaviest vehicles in the transport sector. AF Blakemore are one of the consortium members that are going to be putting infrastructure at their depots as well as trucks on the road and utilising the GridServe public network as well. It's a momentous day really and one that I hope is going to transform an industry um, over the next few years. Decarbonisation is absolutely paramount as we uh, we aim by 2040 to be carbon neutral. To be part of the you know the, the consortium and just leading the way on electrification is fantastic. And they will replace our diesel trucks and you know they're on the road tomorrow serving our customers across uh, across the southeast and, and London. We've got HVO trailers to complement this but also we're looking at completely electrifying our trailers to go with these vehicles. Hopefully we can grow our electrification fleet and roll more out you know, throughout our other depots across the UK. There's various different things that you have to consider uh, when moving to EV. It's not just as simple as buying the vehicle and running it. You've got to think about depot and infrastructure costs. Um, we've also got changes to your business model, you know, differing skills for engineers uh, and also differing fleet manager skills as well, where you're rerouting the vehicles based on where charge points will be. Um, so I think for AF Blakemore, it's put them in a really strong position by taking these vehicles really early on so that they can get a bigger holistic picture of understanding around how those vehicles are used across a greater period of time. Depot charging will become a major factor. We're speaking with GridServe to, at our Bedford depot to look at a site survey to go to high power charging. Um, that will give us greater benefits to double shift our vehicles. This is a really exciting day. We've done a lot of work with the Department for Transport and Innovate UK preparing for this to happen. For us, we need to make sure that we, we can learn as much as possible from these vehicles. What works well, what doesn't work well, um, where other industries can kind of merge and collaborate and support each other and where government needs to help this transition along as well.